The Gay Agenda, an agenda for change. Same love. After the Ball, guiding manifesto for a new brand of pragmatic gay activism. An agenda for change. What we have discovered is in fact an agenda of heterosexual thoughts and actions that we must somehow change. Do you recall the waging peace agenda for change among straights? In this episode, we look at one of the beliefs that gay activists want society to believe. The sex and love lives of most gays and straights today are both similar and conventional. Specifically, we want straights to believe that we look, feel and act just as they do, with love lives exactly like their own. Have you seen the slogans or ads? Love is love. Freedom to love. We love the same way you do. Same love. Together for 20 years. Here is a couple who have been together for 20 years. And after 20 years together, they are still very evidently madly in love with one another. Same love. Is this true? Is what is being presented to the public representative of the gay community? According to the gay authors of After the Ball, when one is young and inexperienced, the tamest, most vanilla-flavoured gay sex, mere cuddling and mutual masturbation is more than enough to do the trick. It's new, forbidden, dirty and exciting. As one gains experience, Vanilla sex with one partner becomes familiar, tame and boring. The increasingly jaded gay man seeks novelty in partners and becomes massively promiscuous. All bodies become boring and only new practices will thrill that of raunch and aggression. In 2019, Rice published an article, Two Gay Men Tell Us How Gay Cruising Has Evolved Between Generations. Gay cruising describes the act of searching about a public place in pursuit of a partner for sex. Straight people are awfully vanilla. The term vanilla is often used in jest by gay people on straight people. All you need to do is to download the Grindr app. Within five minutes, I receive no fewer than three sexual propositions from men in my vicinity. Cruising as a gay man was almost too easy, especially with Grindr. What are your views on gay cruising? Why would gays use the term vanilla on straights? Homosexuality and the politics of truth A 1978 study found that 43% of male homosexuals estimated having sex with 500 or more different partners and 28% with 1,000 or more different partners. In a 1987 AIDS cohort study, nearly 5,000 homosexual men volunteered a significant majority of these men, 69 to 83%, reported having 50 or more lifetime sexual partners. In a more recent report in Vietnam in 2016, high levels of multiple and concurrent sexual partnerships may be catalyzing the transmission of HIV among men who have sex with men in Vietnam. <laughs> what are your views on having numerous sexual partners? What is the gay community like in Singapore? People Like Us is a web series produced by GayHealth.sg. Now, we are the guys behind GayHealth.sg and Pink Carpet Service. This web series is based on my true experiences. Mm -mm. Oops! <laughs> I mean, our community experiences. So it's this sort of party, huh? Do you do this sort of thing often? Yes. Uh, don't tell me you went to a sauna. I thought only desperate guys go there. Are we all? Why is it that guys are like 
just ignore me and the ones that are interested just want to f and then I don't hear from them anymore. Why doesn't anybody want something more? We don't even need to know each other's name. A single look, a sensual touch, short exchange, that's all it took to initiate sex. I was like a kid in a candy store. Sometimes one treat a day wasn't enough. I'd find myself indulging in sex with three or four men a day. Well, as I grew older, I got into many relationships and hundreds of intimate encounters. That's very common in Pegay Circle. Confession. I'm straight, but I regularly have sex with other men. I had just gotten out of a relationship with my second ex-girlfriend. I downloaded Grindr and before I knew it, this random gay stranger was blowing me at his house. I was amazed at how easy it was for gay men to get laid, so every time I got horny, I would hook up with someone on Grindr. Are the sex lives of gays and straights really similar or conventional? Let's move from the sex lives of gays to their love lives. After the ball, gay love is like the weather. Relationships between gay men don't usually last very long. Like a heroin addict, he then needs a new fix. I was monogamous, but you know, in the homosexual lifestyle, that meant that I was every year monogamous with a different man. How long was your last boyfriend? Six and a half inches. I mean, how long was your relationship? About six months. That's not very long. I wish to leave happily ever after. Earth to Alex, Earth to Alex, come in Alex. Well, many of us will experience dating that lasts one to three months, for some a couple of years, and on and on. But if you're lucky, we we'll last more than 60 seconds. <laughs> yung mga nakarelasyon ko naman, hindi siya nagtatagal. Dahil naramdaman ko din na parang iba kung anong intensyon ng mga, ng mga lalaki kapag sinabi mo ang kasing bading. Madalas dyan maririnig mo, pera lang yung habol nila. Or inuman, o kumbaga material lang na bagay. Bakit ganun? Para ang hirap ng maghanap ng tao magmamahal sa iyo. Uri na iron iron to sari ko Kasiko tongsonge sa sangara ore ko yo. Tongsonge sa tulto mo, chagi tulto han namjeol mannasa geolnaeok seolgeo seopta nande. Kyeon kenyeomi opseoyo. Han namja ga botong namja geidri ilseong dongan 150eso 550명까지를 관계를 한다는 거예요. 끝없는 욕정이거든요. Sooner or later, the roving penis rears his ugly head. No matter how happy a gay man may be with his lover, he's likely eventually to go dowsing for dick. The gay community has never had any traditions of faithfulness corresponding to straight marriage. Many gay lovers bowing to the inevitable agree to an open relationship. The male couple, how relationships develop, is a study by two gay men of 156 male couples in relationships lasting from 1 to 37 years. Only seven couples considered themselves to have been consistently sexually monogamous. 95% of the couples have an arrangement whereby the partners may have sexual activity with others at some time under certain conditions. Even though I'd been in a long-term relationship, I'd actually used and I'd been used by over 200 male sexual partners in quite a short space of time. I'm in an open relationship and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I believe it is time someone in the gay community addressed the elephant in the room, that is open relationships. For Han and me, whatever relations we have with others remains purely physical. Out of the closet, Jason Yin and Thorin Duffin share their story. Thorin, we began discussing sexual fantasies. He said, I'd want to have sex with hot guys while I'm still young and attractive. We both shared that sentiment, so we downloaded Grinder. Jason, Thorin would go hook up and come back and share about the hookup with me. Why open relationships are common among gay men? Monogamous gay relationships are fast becoming nothing but a gay fairy tale. The general consensus for why open relationships are not only common but generally accepted among gay men is that simply, well, gay men are sluts. Are the love lives of gays and straights really similar and conventional? What are your views on open relationships? Did you know that in 2019, 
the Institute of Policy Studies at the National University of Singapore revealed that of all the moral issues surveyed, Singaporeans were most unanimous in their response towards infidelity. About 81% of respondents indicated that sexual relations with someone other than one's marriage partner was either always wrong or almost always wrong. How does a culture of open relationships sit with the social norm in Singapore? How would normalising the sex and love lives of the gay community impact Singapore society? In 2018, UK divorce rates among opposite-sex couples hit 45-year low as same-sex separation surged. The number of same-sex couples getting divorced has increased more than three-fold in a year, with three-quarters of those between female couples. A long-term study in 2020, two decades of same-sex marriage in Sweden. People in same-sex marriages have higher divorce risk than those in opposite-sex marriages. Compared with people in other unions, Women in same-sex unions have a divorce rate that is nearly twice as high. There was one day that I remember my, my friend actually told me that she suspected that my girlfriend was cheating on me. I mean, it was quite common uh, in, in the circle. I opened our bedroom door and I saw the naked back of another girl and both of them were on the bed. I, I packed up, uh, I packed up and I just left. Among same-sex unions, lesbian couples are more likely to break up than gay couples. Lesbian relationships have higher breakup rates than heterosexuals uh, have, and including actually uh, gay men. And I think a lot of people would find that really surprising considering there's a lot of uh, promiscuity in the gay male community. What could have contributed to the higher rates of dissolution among same-sex unions, especially among lesbians? Do you recall? Over 50% of gay men and almost 75% of lesbian women reported that they were victims of psychological intimate partner violence. I didn't really realise how serious it was or how common it was until I started really meeting a lot of lesbians and hearing their stories. I thought this new relationship was a dream come true but it turned out to be a living nightmare. I knew if I did not take the step to leave, I would have been dead. 43% of lesbian women and over 60% of bisexual women who are in a relationship with a woman have suffered from domestic abuse. Could the high rates of domestic violence in lesbian unions be one of the reasons? Could another reason be that gay men embrace open relationships? Love is love. We love the same way you do. Ever thought of how LGBT activism may have influenced your perspectives on the sex and love lives of LGBT persons? What are your views on the normalization of LGBT relationships? How would this impact Singapore society? Follow us on 